Hey buddy, you missed me, didn't you? Uh, you missed me, didn't you? If you wanted a bath, you just got one. Kirby Moore, guys. Kirby Moore, we got him on the show here. Kirby, <laughs> say hi to my YouTube audience. What's up, the greatest people in the world? And you're the greatest people in the world because you like what we do. I, I don't know why, but I love you. Favorite season of Ninjago and favorite episode. I know right out the gate, right? <laughs> See, the biggest fear that every voice actor has is going to a convention or a Comic-Con and somebody says, Hey, do you remember this episode uh, that you did like oh, so years, years ago? Uh, and, and can you tell me about it? And the actor just does that blank stare like a deer in headlights. You're so screwed. I totally remember that episode. And let me tell you, it was awesome. And it was my... What's your favorite episode? 16 and season 2? That's my favorite too. That's... So we're going with 16? 16 I, season 2. I Let's just go with that. I had a date last night. And I was showing her episodes of Ninjago. Really? That's, 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 a, that's a way that's, to get a girl. That's how you. That's how you woo the ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, and I, was, uh, I didn't think uh, that was a good move. And, and, and I was watching it. I was like, "Well, I, I'm watching me act and speak." I'm like, "I don't remember this at all." But <laughs> no, it's, it's 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 a really good show. I'm like, "It is." Wow. What is the favorite season though? Do you remember anything about seasons? Favorite season was season one, episode one, when we all came into the room. Is that the movie or the because? Because technically they'll say that the first season was the actual season, but the movie we did was the origin thing. There was a movie? Yeah, man. We did. <laughs> there was a movie? <laughs> there was a movie? Yes. Well, we did. See, it's not just me, guys. Well, we did the, uh, the, the no, 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 no. There, 45 there, minute movie. There, there's an upcoming movie. No, no, no. We did. We, they called it a movie. The very first thing we did was like a special movie. They weren't sure if it's going to go that one. And then it went to a series of 13 episodes. <laughs> there was a movie? Okay, Kai, remember Kai met you, me, and uh, and Jay. We all met together, and he formed the group. Kai, you mean Vincent Tong? <laughs> yeah, Kai, you know, like Vincent, yeah. yeah. To forge a sword, we need to blah, blah, blah. Hey, Nia! That That sort of thing. Jeez, you remember lines uh, and everything. No, it's because Vincent just did it. Uh, no, my favorite episode, literally, was... We're back to episode, I'm talking about season. <laughs> See, you started with a question and then you went off on a tangent. I'm going to answer your question. <laughs> right. Wait for it. Okay, right. you know, I, I'm sorry he's so disheveled. But my favorite episode was season one, episode one, where I show up in a room with all these super talented guys. You get into that room for the first time with a new cast and you all start working off of each other and, uh, and you're playing and you're having fun and you look at each other like... Yeah, we do this for a living. This is awesome. And we have so much fun. And then we all look at this guy and go, you know, you, you, you'll get there one day. <laughs> <laughs> is your personality similar to Cole's? When I auditioned for the series, Cole was described as the leader of the Ninja Warriors. I think Kai kind of took that over uh, as the leader. They're, they're um, going to say that you're the leader now. Did you know that? Uh, Okay, so I'm the leader again. I, I, no, honestly, they're going to say later on, how do you feel about being the leader now and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, he's the leader? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Is it Lloyd? Is it Kai? Is it Cole? I don't know. Do you remember the episode, though, where we were all being the leader and we all had a chance and turned to be a leader and they kept screwing it up? Like, each person kept screwing it up? Do you remember that? No. Yeah, we won't talk about it. But it's, it's, it's been it's seven awful. years, if anybody's keeping track. It's been seven years since we've been doing this, uh, and um, I uh, I don't remember a lot. Uh, it's honestly because of YouTube. I had to like start going back and watching all of them. I hit my head a lot. Which ninja did you think you were gonna get? Uh, I knew I'd get Cole. I, I think I auditioned for three. I did not audition for your role, uh, which is probably why you got it. <laughs> no, I. Uh, just kidding. Uh, no, no. You were um, kidding. No. I, I, you know how many roles I lost to this guy over the years? Seriously. Oh, yeah, no, Kirby I, got it again. Uh, I mean, you, 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 you kind of. You're lucky I, mean, I like you. You want to? You, you know what it says on IMDb? It's like a trivia, fun fact. Kirby Morrow uses the same voice for every character he voices. I'm like, that's not true. It makes me sound like a really untalented person. But uh, anyway, but um. Just, uh, 
you know, I've been doing this for 23 years. Uh, and you start to learn where your voice sits comfortably. And as soon as you do something out of your comfortable range when you try and put on a voice and, and all these other ranges, it's a lot more work. So it's easiest to do a voice that's in your comfort zone. Uh, and I have, for probably 16 years, been the young hero. The, the, this voice is like the young hero. And yeah, you got leader. a bit of a rasp to and it. It's like like a, yeah, it's like, a, cutting, it's the young, a cut to it. And uh, I don't know why it is, but it's, it's what... It, wor it works. It, it works. And it's like, kind of, this is what works for me. And I can play the crazy one! Or I can play the deep crazy. No, and I can do all these things, but I'm really, really good at being the young hero leader of the group guy. And if you look back at my resume, um, you'll see I'm always kind of that voice. So when I auditioned for the show, I'm like, my best chance is Cole, because uh, in the beginning, he was supposed to be the leader of the group, like, no, we're ninja warriors, and we need to stick together and fight like a team. Come on! Uh, and even if it's like a 14-year-old, or somebody who's 16 years old, like, come on, man, you know, we're warriors, and we have to, or we have to go a little bit deeper and go, you know what, we're a team. We have to stick together, and we have to fight, and we have to do this, and that's the way you do it. But my vocal... Were, were you bothered by the fact that Cole wasn't the main character of any season before that you knew the day of The Departed is about Cole? That Cole wasn't a main, main character before? No, I was just saying, because you know on the seasons, it's got like... <clears throat> uh, the third season was me on the box. Basically, it comes down to what character makes it on the box of the what's, toys. What's the box? The box of toys. Oh, the box of toys. You're, okay. now, you're now the face of the toys coming up. What? Yeah, Cole. Well, not Kirby, but Cole. Yeah. The Black Cole, Cole's... Yeah, what? Cole is. Yeah. Because every toy I've seen is Kai. Kai, 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 Kai. Yeah. Hey, were you mad that you weren't, like, the star of the show? They basically say that each of Best Ninja got to be stars, but you're, like, being a star for the special. Um... No. Um... Uh, I'm the star of the show in the sense that I walk into a room with some of the most amazing voice performers in the world, and they let me come in and work with them, uh, and that makes me that makes me so giddy and happy that just you know uh, I'm glad you guys like the show, uh, but uh, that that's my happy moment <laughs> when I walk in and get to play with all these guys because wow. they're that's a really so super fun and talented. Yeah. No one's gonna be able to beat that answer. Yeah, I know. That it's was like, like real, that's like Hallmark card <laughs> answer. Like, I, I work a lot for Hallmark. Wait, should I do my Hallmark here? <laughs> So you does. <laughs> okay, what did you think about the J, uh, Cole, and Nia lo uh, love triangle? Key to any successful story is conflict. That is the key to storytelling. We want to see conflict. So you need conflict. So you need me and Jay fighting over uh, uh, Nia. That was a good, uh, that know, was good, a lot of funny lines and tension. Yeah, yeah. That was and hilarious and, hilarity. And, and Adam Fraley, with ah, this high range. And, yeah. did, did you think that she should have been with you or are you happy that she ended up choosing uh, I think every girl should have been with me I, I just when, when it did, when it doesn't work out my way I'm I, I'm not gonna lie <laughs> do you uh, ship Kanye do I ship Kanye <laughs> I have no idea what that means do I ship Kanye <laughs> do I ship Kanye <laughs> yes do you, do you know <laughs> do you know what shipping means hey, hey voice on my phone what <laughs> does ship Kanye mean? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just got bu I got busted so bad. Okay, first of all, do you know what sh do you know what shipping means? Um, it's when you put a parcel in the mail and it travels abroad, or you have a massive floating device that goes across the ocean. <laughs> no, nowadays, man. I kid you not. What they say is. Oh yeah, man! I ship it. Like it's cool. Like like they belong together. Like like uh, <laughs> like Pixel and Zane. They'd be like, yeah, man! I ship I... it. I ship it. So Kanya, I'm not kidding you. Kanya is Cole and I Nia. I ship it. <laughs> yes. I ship it. Cole and Nia is Kanya. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> what the ship? Is he making this stuff up? Do you like being the Black Ninja? And if not, what colored ninja would you like me? If we're gonna look back through history, every ninja ever no, has been black. No, no, that's not true. They're white too. 
Snow ninjas. Snow ninjas. I'm telling so, you. So snow... you, you and me, you and me. Snow ninja yeah. and uh, nuts. I am not kidding you. Uh, this is a true story. When I was, um, you know, 12, 13, I used to do ninja tests and <coughs> and throw throwing stars at my friends. But they're really just like dulled costume jewelry. You used to throw throwing stars at your friends. Yeah, I make them. Like, hey, buddy. I, I made them walk the fence, and I would give them the test. I was a sensei throwing throwing stars. I'm, I'm not sure, but anyways, I subscribed to Ninja magazines, and I know that there were snow. <laughs> I, I know there were snow ninjas. I do. I'm not kidding. Kai could hide in oh I don't know a forest fire, uh, and uh, uh, and Jay could oh I don't know hide in an ice storm. Or um, uh, Look, my you know, freezer. Do you have any Ninjago Lego sets? <laughs> Maybe a few. I love when uh, when Kirby has a date and a girl comes over to my house and goes, "Why is there a whole case full of toys?" What's your favorite music or favorite group? Okay, so um, the greatest band most entertaining group of people in the world is Walk Off the Earth. Walk Off the Earth. I, I, oh I think God. they're awesome. They're Canadian. Um, they're they're amazing. Canadian? Yeah. They're, they're from, they're, they're from the Ontario region. Really? Um, I've, I've been to two of their live shows and they're like, they're playing instruments and at one point they just all throw, and this is not in any word exaggeration, they just all throw their instruments, ukuleles and trumpets and everything, they just throw them in the air and they catch an instrument and they just keep playing like they don't miss a beat. And it's unbelievable. They're the band that plays um, somebody that I used to know. On YouTube. The, the, the Goche, uh, five people playing yeah, one that's guitar. Good. I see that. But every single one of their videos is. The greatest thing ever. Is it true that you voiced a shower head in a Lime Away commercial? It's probably true, but I don't want to hear from the man himself. Uh, very true, yes. Cool. How did you get into voice acting? Um, okay, so when I went to theater school, uh, I had, um, in my professional development class, uh, I had a individual who came in and said, if you want to be successful as an actor, you have to seek out every avenue of acting that you can. There's so many avenues for an actor to pursue outside of, oh, I'm going to be a movie star on my first role, or I'm going to be this. It's like, you know, if you want to be an actor, you have to pursue every avenue of revenue that you can and that's going to make you the best that you can be. One of the funny things is uh, I meet actors that are very successful uh, and quite famous uh, that work on camera and go, you know, I'd love to do voiceover but you know, it's a really small industry and you can't get into it. I'm like, what do you think acting was? <laughs> like, yeah, that's you, true. You, my favorite villain from Ninjago um, uh, I think was uh, Ian Corlett playing uh, the snake character. Scales or? Scales? Scales. Okay. I, th I think it was Scales. This is my mixture. Hi, Mickey. Hi, buddy. That is so. Man, his tongue is bigger than his face. Uh, how do you feel about Colby and Ghost? Yeah, did you and like yes, it? Yes, I want Zane's okay. opinion too. Um, you can go first. You can go first. Well, at least I'm still in the series. <laughs> Uh, which is uh, a very... Yeah, remember when I died in season three and I didn't know if I was coming back? Yeah, like, you know, several characters all of a sudden, yeah, guess what, you're, like, gone for, oh, I don't know, 20 episodes. Really? You need to entice and shock your audience. Uh, and there's nothing worse than someone telling the same old story, the same thing over again. So you have to, like, do things that, you know, shock your audience and make them... That was, shock, that was shocking. You becoming a ghost. That yeah. Okay. Well, my opinion. To be honest with you, I like it for a few episodes, but I would like it to change. I feel bad that you're a ghost. 